Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Isa Guzman, and in front of you is actually a 15 inch laptop from Asus. This is the Asus VivoBook S15 in its punk pink color. It kind of <laughs> so hard to pronounce that. Punk pink color is the name of the game. Their newest lineup of laptops in 15 inch glory. This is a 15 inch laptop where it's more built for multimedia professionals and also other dedicated professions because of its build. For a 15 inch laptop, this has an Intel Core i7 8th generation processor, an MX250 graphics from Nvidia, and also a 1TB hard disk and 512GB of SSD for only 59,995 pesos. That's actually really good in terms of its package. 59,995 pesos or 60,000 bucks is actually a really big investment already for a professional. But is it really good in terms of overall package? Let's find out in our overall experience, in my experience as well, of this laptop. So I've been using the VivoBook S15 for around uh, 15 days already. It, it actually has some pros and cons. I'll be honest, it has some ups, it has some downs. In overall features for a 60,000 peso laptop, it, this isn't really my main laptop driver right now, but it's more than enough to do all of my work. So actually, I have a lot of things to talk about of this laptop, but first, let's go into the design. So. Design-wise, it's really good. As you can see at the back, it's in glorious pink color. Doesn't really match my jacket though. So this is the punk pink color. And also at the side, it, as you can see, uh, even the B panel, we call it B panel here or where the keyboard is placed. Even the metal uh, materials here is actually toned into a little bit more pinkish hue. And even at the bottom side, matches it as well. It's made of plastic. As you can see, or as you can hear, this is made of plastic. This is made of plastic as well, but the lid itself is made of metal. So the metal is uh, metal lid is cold to the touch. Aside from this one, it's really neat and clean. But as you can see, there will be a really little chamfer at the side, which is the accent color of a little bit of a moss green here where you can see it complements to the overall feel and look of the laptop itself. Actually, this is a thing I like right now about the new lineup of Asus. They are trying to mix up with more colors, more into the attitude of people, trying to mix up a lot of color variations so it doesn't just look red, doesn't look just blue, doesn't just look white and black. They try to do a dual tone color overall, so overall laptops are now more vibrant and more colorful. So that's why it's meant to be out for outdoor people or actually it's for more outgoing and content creators such as me um, and perhaps you guys as well. If you edit videos, if you do a lot of things, this might be a laptop for you. Inside this laptop is actually an Intel Core i7 processor, 8th generation. 8GB of RAM with MX250 graphics from NVIDIA, 1TB of storage that is hard disk, 512GB of storage that is SSD, which is the main storage of this one. So the combination of the two is actually really good. A 512GB SSD storage is really enough for me that is for the applications itself and other uh, main storage for quick downloads and then you transfer them to the hard disk in due time afterwards but let's talk more about the dis display this time so the display is actually a 15.6 inch display IPS in the matte display finish the matte display you're seeing here is actually already in the maximum brightness but the main concern I'm really having right now is it's really not that bright enough as compared to my experience as other laptops it might be a good IPS laptops in terms of color but it can go further if it punches further more into color saturation in my preference um, I'm taking down this 
comparison into my experience to a MacBook Pro in to myself. I've been using a MacBook Pro as my daily driver and I've been using this one for time to time and also editing some of the videos that you've been seeing recently in this laptop as well. So 15 inch on the laptop that is matte, matte display but the brightness is not really not that punchy. I should say when you're consuming media such as games, uh, watching movies, or actually uh, editing, the colors of the display is really good when you're working. But anything uh, outside that, when you're actually more of the relaxing or uh, on the play side, especially when playing games, I often most play games on my desktop 90% of the time. So that 90% tends to my eyes, my comparison with my monitor right now versus this one. Colors are not that punchy, but it can give you the overall experience nevertheless. Now, the good thing about this one is the narrow bezels. It only has less than four millimeters in terms of the overall bezels, as you can see here. They're really, really thin. The frameless nano edge be bezels that they are promoting right now is such a good feature as compared to laptops as compared to before. Now, I like it that they were able to fit a 15.6 laptop into a 14 inch chassis overall and it's not that heavy at all for a 15 inch laptop this is just 1.8 kilograms 1.8 kilograms as compared to my macbook pro this is 1.3 kilograms and this is 1.8 kilograms for 15 inch versus a 13 inch it's really not bad that's a trade-off anymore right now bringing it down here you can see the laptop has a more experience of an ergo lift when you say ergo lift they actually meant that they raised the laptop three degrees in terms of the overall position so your armrest is actually better in terms of typing so aside from that it actually helps on the cooling because this part is actually letting in more air into the system and better thermal management overall while this is made of plastic, it's still cold to the touch because of its material. The paint they used here is actually still good overall and has that metallic feeling. So one good system about the new Windows laptops right now is Windows Hello. Windows Hello is a new system that actually when you look at the laptop, it actually signs in to you already once it detects your face once you register it before it's similar to a cell phone right now where you can register your face to unlock the whole system so it's made out of infrared systems and actually cameras to detect this one even at pitch dark uh, darkness it can do make so and it's no problem at all in my experience this is a 15 inch key keyboard setup right now uh, it has its own key numpad or keypad here at the right side but my main gripe in terms of laptop with this setup is actually the arrow keys are too thin and cramped to each other so as you can see the problem is the up and down left and right is actually confusing here and then they should have at least given more space for me in my preference on a laptop at least made this more dedicated as compared to the numpad area here because you use this number arrow keys or the directional arrow keys more as compared to any other keys here on the numpad some overall placement and distance of itself is really good it's also backlit keyboard so it has good backlit when it comes at the dark no problem about it the overall touchpad is also good it has a good ratio as compared to its uh, overall display as you can see the trackpad is really big here uh, i can do quick gestures such as closing all of the apps navigating through all of my application it's just three fingers and it's really easy battery battery the battery of this one is a little bit underwhelming as well. Uh, overall, in my experience, is around three and a half hours to four hours maximum. That's with all of the settings, such as the display in maximum. I'm downloading a lot of stuff, as you can see. Or actually, I can't really show you right now, but the fan right now is 
running really fast because I'm downloading a lot of stuff and playing 4K video right now. But the good thing about this one, this has a 90 watt charger included. It means the unit itself can charge 60% in just 49 minutes. So the fairly, it's a good quick charging technology already inside of the VivoBook uh, S15 right now. But I wish the battery can a little bit push further around 5 hours, more than 5 hours honestly. Because in my experience, even on and off situations, what just crunching my time doing some documents or perhaps editing one video in one full charge might be just enough for this one and then poof, it's already done. Uh, in some cases, like going outside to cover events, you really need a laptop that can do a lot of things with good battery life. Because at the end of the day, we're rendering videos and trying to publish videos in quick, the quicker time because we're, it's against the time as well when doing coverages. So you need a laptop that can do rendering at the same time, good battery life. And this can do rendering pretty well in short. But in terms of battery life, it might fall out on you a little bit. So we did some benchmarks on this one, the PC Mark 10. Actually, overall performance on a Core i7 laptop with MX250, 1TB of storage, and 512GB of the system hardware for the application itself is actually really decent. I was able to render 1080p videos with 60 frames per second speeds. It, there was no lagging at all on those kind of renderings in Adobe Premiere. So I sh should say that this one is pretty decent. This isn't really a gaming laptop guys, but you can do pretty decent gaming here. Overall, in my experience, you can juggle a lot of apps, open a lot of web browsers, and then at the side of things, if you need to edit photos, if you need to edit videos. Overall, this laptop can handle most of the things that I can give it in terms of multimedia consumption as well. Now let me just give you a quick comparison between a VivoBook S15 versus a MacBook Pro 13 in terms of the audio and why I'm really a little bit iffy about the speakers they included here. Now I'm not really saying that the speakers here are really not good but in terms of overall delivery just hear it for now Now, the MacBook Pro 13 is surely the winner here in terms of audio comparison. But I'm saying here not as that I'm comparing directly with a 13 inch MacBook Pro with everything it has right now. But in terms of the overall speakers, they included on a 15 inch laptop. That's what I'm saying right now. The speakers isn't just really fit for this size of the laptop right now. Okay? Moving on is to the ports is actually we have here the DC in for the adapter for charging an HDMI full HDMI in terms of sizing as well and USB 3.1 in terms of type A USB type C for connectivity as well 3.5 millimeter audio jack and a micro SD slot here now on this side is actually just two USB 3.1 type A ports so that's a total of three USB 3.1 type a ports and then one usb type c for all connectivity aside from that it's all output for the hdmi for the audio port and then the micro sd slot card now that's my only complaint right now it's also a 15 inch laptop they could have made the card slot a um, full pledge sd card slot because in my experience, I'm also a content creator. We process on cameras, 
and we edit videos i wish that they included already here a full pledge sd card reader because it's just the right thing to do for laptops right now especially at this point if it's a 14 inch laptop or a 13 inch laptop i would have accepted it but as a 15.6 inch they have a lot of space to include here for a full pledge sd card reader so this is the asus vivobook s15 in its punk pink color it has the most expensive configuration right now at one terabyte storage 512 gigabyte ssd core i7 8th generation in terms of its processor mx250 8 gigabytes of ram overall delivery i have to say that this is a good laptop for content creators i'm just a bit disappointed on the display itself and the speakers aside from that everything else can be manageable overall if you want a laptop that has more power to do a lot of things to content create videos to edit you also do graphics play some games at the side of things this is a good laptop i should say battery life is so so but that's really expected already for a 15 inch laptop so thank you very much for joining us in our full review of the asus vivobook s15 laptop and of course as in every video that we do so make sure you subscribe and join our giveaway of our realme c1 smartphone we are currently giving away this smartphone once you comment down to in our video that we featured the led slip lights from lasco and that will be really helpful for us as well just comment on that video why do you like the realme c1 smartphone and of course include your instagram handles make sure you subscribe and follow the instructions on that video to fully be eligible on winning this realme c1 the winner will be announced next week so that's it thank you very much guys for joining us on our full review of the asus vivobook s15 make sure you comment down below what do you think about this laptop as well and make sure you watch our next video thank you so much guys bye